We're on our way to Tarpon Springs and uh, Jen's probably gonna freak out here in just a few minutes because we're getting ready to go across uh, what's it called the Sun State Skyway yeah bridge scary. Jen Jen doesn't like scary things we gotta pay a toll well, how do I care. where does it I didn't even care until Tim was like hey how are you with bridges and I'm like what should I just should I have just not told you that we we're going across this gigantic bridge? I probably wouldn't even have noticed had you not said anything. Because oh. then he's like, I'm like, well, I mean, it fell, right? And he's like, what? And so then I looked it up on the internet, and in 1980, although the although there are like some varying reports of uh -huh. different dates, uh -huh. it's still it obviously it happened, right? You guys? Apparently, everybody that had to do with this story was a drunker, no, including the captain of the boat that ran into the bridge. There was low visibility and it's like super shallow in the bay and so it like wasn't his fault completely. They probably should have just made a, a better bridge. And so that's what they did now. But it's still kind of scary because it fell. Not this bridge, the one before this one. But I like I told Tim, I think it's due for like a fallen because it's uh... It's due for a fallen. <laughs> it was like 30 years ago. See, is the light flashing that says Skyway Bridge closed? Oh, Jen's, Jen's quite scared because we're getting ready to go across with the like world's largest bridge. Stop. It's not really that big. I mean, you guys can see it up the up ahead there, up up. They say that you're like whenever you go across a bridge, you're supposed to hold your breath for good luck, or is that just cemeteries? <laughs> That's the bridge we're getting ready to go across. Yay, bridge! So the Golden Gate Bridge has people that like are constantly painting the cables to keep them red. Here in Florida, we're like, the heck with that. Just make them out of pure gold. Gold. Or just paint them yellow, one or the other. Florida. I, I don't have my foot on the accelerator. I actually just shifted into neutral and I'm still creeping up on this Explorer right here ahead of us. I'm just assuming that that's St. Pete times Forum or Tropicana Field, one of the two. Thank you, uh, automated voice lady. Welcome to Tarpon Springs. We're here. We're just trying to get something to eat. Uh, this guy's awesome looking. He's yeah, kind of scary. He is scary. We're at this place called the Grill House, but this is the veranda. And it's like, it's, it's super nice, very tropical. What do you think? It's like we own this restaurant, right? Yeah. We're like large and in charge. Only one's here. I don't want to be large. This is where we're going to go check out all down in there to the Spongiorama. And uh, I guess over here is the sponge exchange, I think. I don't know. We're gonna go all over these places. Oh my goodness, that looks ridiculous. Look at Jen's euro. Mm, that looks even it's more ridiculous. Than my hand. Yeah, I'm bigger than your hand. <laughs> Look, that just looks good. Do you wanna have your picture taken inside this giant helmet? Yeah. <laughs> what is he saying? Welcome to, to Sponge Rama. We have a lot of sponges. Are these real? Yeah, that's the real loofah. Oh. What the heck? I wanted to go to the Sponge Rama, but it was closed. Ooh. Well, it wasn't closed, it was, uh, the museum was closed. I think that's guy, he's the best. What is it, Jen? It's like one of those old-timey scams when they're like, oh, you want some, got a broken leg? This eucalyptus oil is gonna fix it. See? See what it does here? I was once cured, now I'm relieved. Sinus asthma, hay fever, bronchitis, emphysema, arthritis, right back ache, migraines, influenza, and muscular pain. Let's get some. Okay, Jen just wants to buy every fedora ever. What do I look like? You look like you're wearing a fedora. Yeah, is it good or not? I like it. Jen found her new hat. I like it. Choo choo. No, you're the captain. On board, I'm the captain. So climb aboard. Captain Morgan. What the heck is this thing all about? It's like an actual gator stuffed. Jen like swindled one of the ladies. Even though it was the wrong, wrong uh, bracelets that she got. She swindled the lady to give it to her. They were what? They were supposed to be like eleven ninety nine a piece. I think that they were kind of like upcharging a little bit because yeah. it was these. I got them for my coworkers because when they came, they got us. They got me one. Yeah. But it's a little evil eye bracelet to keep the evil spirits away. Um, and I, I talked her down from nine ninety nine a piece to five ninety nine a piece. Yeah. Then we went next door and they're like. These are two for six. Two for six. And I was like, Jen found the most awkward back scratcher ever. Let me use my good hand. <laughs> it's a gator claw. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, wiggly, 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 wiggly. Oh, uh, does it work on camera? Yeah, this is, we are in the future. Because you can see the waves coming in. Should I get a half? Or should I get this shirt? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, John, for founding this place, I guess. Hey, giant turtle! 
And a shark, too. I, I caught this for you. You caught that shark? I caught you a sweet bass. Nice. Very nice. A 42 foot sponge diving boat. And a compressor. Oh, for when you're diving, I got it. I was like, why do they need a compressor? And there's their engine. That engine is dead. Why walk when you can take a canoe? Yeah. What do you guys think? Do I got a new hat? Nice. It's kind of big. I like it. I think I need a smaller size. Smaller head. Let's try it. I mean, bigger head. I don't know. Oh, it's too tight now. Oh. I like the color. Jen's going in this place just based on the fact that the outside looks crazy. Well, this place is pretty crazy looking, that's for sure. These are actual fish. Look at the size of that grouper. Jellyfish. Who knew they had wine koozies? These boots are like galoshes. But they're like cowboy galoshes. Yeah. Uh, you're a cowboy galosh. I think that's the exit, maybe oh. over here. Oh, yeah, over there. So these were stingray. It is very weird. I like all this. Like, these boats are crazy looking. They Look at, they've just got like a, yeah, I think so, but he's just got like a regular house window. <laughs> I don't know. They, a lot of them look so old, it's ridiculous. Oh, this one definitely is a sponge boat. Oh, he's yeah. got sponges everywhere. He's like drying them out. No, I think that those are all old, nasty ones. He's oh, yeah. just like got it decorated his boat. Oh. You know, I bet you this guy doesn't even go out and do sponge fishing. He just decorates it. Make oh. us think that he does. <laughs> See, please do not board sponge boats. I feel ripped off now because that, that boat right there the one that looks like the most like a, a boat, like for sponging, isn't an actual sponging ship. It's just a, uh, like a decoration put there by the city. Oh, look, this guy. See, those are real. Those are new. You smell it? It smells disgusting. <laughs> so can I be perfectly honest with you guys? That was Tarpon Springs. We went there by the suggestion of one of Jen's coworkers, who is, she's a little bit older. Uh... Yeah, that was not, not the most fun that I've ever had, no. but it was just like going to a big flea market. I thought that there would, like Tarpon Springs, right? That sounds like there would be springs there. We're like, let's, we wore our bathing suits. Maybe we can go swimming. Brought the GoPro and everything. No, it was just like, let's go shopping somewhere that sells sponges. <laughs> and that's it. Like it has, it has a lot of history, but every place that would have had history was just trying to sell you something and not actually tell you any of the history. And the one museum that was like, free museum, it was closed down. So, yeah. I'd, I'd save the day trip if I were you guys. Like, I might not go to Tarpon Springs. Probably like way cooler places close to Tarpon Springs. Like maybe Wikiwachi. Wikiwachi I don't think is too much further away from this. Oh. I don't know, I'll have to look it up. Wikiwachi is awesome. Uh, what, was, what else would be like St. Pete Beach is pretty close to here I'd, I'd go to those places rather than go to Tarpon Springs but don't take my word for it I was going to like reading Rainbow No. All right. as we were paying our toll that cruise ship was underneath the big bridge look at the size of that boat it's huge look at this guy's crazy Camaro pretty intense looking just so you guys know every day it's going to be uh, sunset videos because I love them Oh. And I love this one. <laughs> That's so cute. That's one thing, as I'm doing it right now, that I never understood <laughs> is why people, when they take a picture, they point the camera backwards. Like, the sunset's out there. You should be, you should be taking a picture of yourselves with the sunset in the background. That's nice. When the sun goes down, we'll be grooving. There's a pelican flying by it. You see how fast it's just, like, sinking into the water? Yeah. That's just a relativity. Oh, okay. It's almost down. There's an ant biting my toe, but I'm trying my hardest. Look at that pelican. Chilling. Watching the sunset. It's so funny, like... Look at how far away it is. Dang! I'll have to get it tomorrow. I wanted to get, like, that moment where it dips underneath into the ocean. But I missed it. So fast. Right? That's what she said. You guys ready for how bizarre it is? Like, the panoramic action of it being... What's happening? Oh, my phone's like showing an ad. I'm like, why? <laughs> why is it making so much noise? So, you see how like dreary and dark it looks over there? Now just watch as it changes. Mexico. Watch as it changes. Thank you for your pollution, Mexico, because you make us have pretty sunsets. That's terrible, right? It is pretty terrible, but... but it's so beautiful. It's true. Some, it's nighttime and there's some sweet, sweet lightning out over the bay, so I'm coming out over here so you guys can be able to see it.
brought my flashlight on on the dock and all I found was this red cup. Jerks for partying out here, not cleaning up. Like... Hey there, Mr. Giant Raccoon. What's up? You guys checking out eating some people's trash? Is that what's up? Sweet. As long as you're not eating ours, I'm cool with it. That's one thing I'll never understand, why people would come to a place specifically for its good looks, like, hey, what do you want to do? Let's go on vacation to the beach. Why do you want to go to the beach? Oh, because it's awesome there. It looks good. It's You get a suntan, you go out in the water. Uh, but what are you doing? You're throw trash everywhere. Sweet, what? Doesn't make any sense to me. If you guys go somewhere, clean up your trash. It's not that hard. And it's it only makes sense, like, if you want to come to a place that looks good, and the reason that you're coming is because it looks good, clean up your trash. We're gonna try to get up tomorrow and watch the sunrise, I think. <laughs> 6.30, here we come. 5.30 or 6.30? Yeah, I don't know. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Now it's time to pay the price. Good morning. So early. The moon. The sunrise. My voice does not work in the morning. This is about as cool as it's gonna look. It'll just be like sunshine after a little bit. We're going back to bed. Bedtime.